friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is puppeteer full tutorial series for absolute beginners in the last episode we learned and implemented how to create a screenshot and how to generate a PDF with the data today we will learn how to extract page source right source code of any given web page very very classic uh, example because if you are running multiple websites in different environments you might want to extract source code at that point of time to see that your code was correctly executing etc there can be a lot of use cases around this and hence it's very important to know how to extract the page source of any given uh, website using puppeteer this is part 10 of the series if you have missed out on the previous episodes i'll request you to kindly check them out I have covered everything from basic ground zero to most advanced use cases of web scrapping. Today we are in episode number 10 where we will learn how to get the source code. These are all the other topics that I will be covering in this series as we progress along. Very very interesting and advanced use cases especially if you are in the field of data and web scrapping. Alright that being said what are we going to learn today? We are going to learn and implement using Puppeteer Launch. We will create a new browser page then we will learn we'll just navigate using page.goto then we will extract the contents of that web page using page.content we will write that into a file and then close the browser session that's what we are going to do today let's get started and implement the code so as usual i'm making my notes here and for each episode i'm creating code i will share all of this in the git so you can directly access them all right so that being said let's get started the first thing you'll do is get puppeteer and say require puppeteer and then we are all since i said that we have we will write it into a file system we will also import a fs module okay save it and then you would do a async and write function let's call it get source code and we will pass a URL and output data that means where we want that to be we can also implement a callback for it but for now I'm just leaving it and since it's an async I'm going to start writing try catch <coughs> and if it's an error right what we'll do for now is we will just do console.error and we are saying error getting source code of the URL okay that's just a basic message all right and then in the try what we'll start doing is first create the browser instance browser and then we are going to say wait puppeteer dot launch and then we will create a page so I'm going to say const page is equal to await browser dot new page right that's the method and once we have it then I'm going to say page dot go to right go to URL and the URL is the one that we are passing in the method as a param now that we are telling and the page to navigate the next step is to extract the contents of it right so I'm going to say <coughs> const source code <coughs> await page dot content right so this would bring get the source code of that particular web page and then our requirement is we need to write this into a file so we will use the fs write write file sync okay and then here you will mention the output path so this would be our output data path that we want what do we want to write we want to write the source code and then what is the format it is usually UTF-8 <coughs> alright so once you have done this all you will do is just close the browser wait browser dot close okay that's all we need I think so I'm just going to log and say 
successfully executed the source code of the URL. Just a message so we can debug. Okay. All right. So the function is ready. Now we need to call it. And to do that, I'm just going to call it here and say, first let's define the URL that we want to pass. Um, I don't want to get into any uh, illegal thing, so I'm just going to use um, example.com. I think there is a website like that. <coughs> Output, I wanted to type Google, but I'm not sure if <laughs> that's allowed. So uh, let's say source code.html. That's the file I want the output data to be. And finally, let's just call the method get source code and pass the URL and output data. Okay, so let's review this code. Now that we have written the function, all it is doing is getting the browser instance. And as always, I will do a headless false because I want to see the browser open. Um, then we have the browser.new page, then go to go to URL, then get the contents of that web page, write it into a file, and this is the path file name that we are giving this is the source code that we got and finally we are catching if something goes wrong okay perfect so far so I'm going to open it uh, it's in the CD puppeteer tutorial I am there and we will run it as node episode number 10 dot chess let's run it and see if <coughs> so it's opening the chromium we don't have any so it opened the source file and okay so we have the source code dot HTML file and if you see it has got the complete source code of that particular web page right of example.com so that's how you can execute and get source code of any web page using puppeteer this is one of the classic examples of data web scrapping do give it this try and let me know if you see any issues I am here to help you alright so this is a complete method that you need to look and work on alright important thing is page dot content that's th that's the method that it will get you the complete source code right so do give it a try let me know if you see any issue I am here to help you please do like the video please do subscribe to my channel in the next episode we, I will show you the form data submission using Puppeteer. Very, very important because you want to automate few things. Form filling, entering data, submitting forms is one of a common use case of automations. So we will learn all about it in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please continue your learning journey with me. Keep learning, keep growing. Thank you so much.